Amigos and amigas, I guess it's time that I finally talk about this. I am officially fatphobic because I don't agree with a certain message. And I know this might be shocking to some of you, but let me explain. So I've been debating over the last few days if I should even make a video on this situation. But this morning I woke up and I was making breakfast and I was thinking about it. I was like, huh? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it. I've talked about dumber stuff. If I could talk about this, I can talk about anything at this point. So some of you might have heard this new movie called Reflect. It's by Disney. It's going to be six minutes long and it's going to be on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if I could show the trailer i'll be testing it out so if i don't show anything it's because i can't with that said let's just get into the article because it's really interesting disney announces first place size heroine in animated short reflect disney has debuted the first plus size female protagonist in a short film that has been praised for exploring body positivity sorry praised for exploring and overcoming self-doubt i know i said this at the start of the video but i was just kidding let me just say this i have absolutely zero problem with disney talking about body positivity or body dysmorphia because most of the people who watch disney movies are little kids how do i I know that because i was a little kid once and i watched all the pixar and disney movies this never happened to me but i'm sure this could help someone be accepting of themselves and be like you know what it's okay to be this size it's okay not to have a six pack and be ripped it's okay not to be super skinny like the bikini models i'm seeing on the sports magazines it's okay to do that and if that helps someone that's great good for you right and if you're thinking well why are you even talking about this it's because disney does not care they literally only decide to make this animation in 2022 well 2021 2022 because it's a popular thing to do and it's a cool thing and it's the pc thing to do i don't think i need to say this but i'll just say just to make sure so people don't cut me out of context or anything i don't have a problem with fat people at all i don't hate them i don't discriminate against them i don't see a fat person walking down the street and i attack them for no reason or i start calling them names i really 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 don't have a problem with anyone in this planet only people who are not subscribed and have notifications on that's the only people that i have a problem with if they're not subscribed right but besides that i don't really care what you do in your private life i'm just doing me i'm living my life what i hate is when companies pretend to care about whatever's going on in the world why didn't disney make this sooner why not when it's so popular to do because it's a cool thing to do because it's a popular thing to do because it's a quote-unquote correct thing to do let's introduce everyone here let's make everyone feel welcome and don't get me wrong that's not bad what is bad is the way you do it the execution and the way they're doing this is so soulless i know disney's a business i know they need to make money but please stop pretending to be deep and progressive the only reason why they're making this film in the first place it's because of money they don't care about you they don't care care about me they don't care about fat people out there they only care about how to get richer how can we exploit the newest trend and then in a few years something else is gonna come out and this is gonna be like let, yeah let's do that shit let's jump on that because twitter will love us if we put a fat person dancing it's going to give you lots of love on twitter the animation reflect tells the story of bianca a young ballet dancer who battles her own reflection man that's so deep the movie's called Reflect, and she battles her own reflection. Holy shit. Just everywhere. God damn. That's very cool. <laughs> overcoming doubt and fear by channeling her inner strength grace and power yes queen slay that's what i'm saying the film has drawn mixed reviews online someone says this is very encouraging and i am glad disney decided to include a plus size heroine one person tweeted i wish i could have seen this when i was younger but so happy things are changing and others said um yeah these are fake <laughs> <laughs> well it is twitter so i mean they're probably real i don't know about you guys i'm just a latino dude i just talk shit and this is just me this is my personal experience and when i was a little kid when i was younger i never cared about representation and i grew up with the original spider-man trilogy you know with toby mcguire i never cared that he was white race never bothered me and i was never like holy shit you know what i wish i saw someone like me on that movie i didn't because those movies are certified hood classics no matter what they're better than any new spider-man movie I just wanted to say that i'm just someone who doesn't care about seeing themselves on the big screen i saw black panther 2 and the villain was mexican i thought it was cool right but prior to that i was not like yeah hopefully they have a fucking mexican dude in the marvel movie so i could be like yo that's literally me he's just like me for real for real but that's just my perspective in my opinion everyone's fucking equal as long as you're not a douchebag i think we could be friends i don't know pixar and disney really be falling off first with marvel and now with pixar and animations how can i capitalize off of this and this is the perfect example of it disney accused of removing gay content from pixar films this is from eight months ago <laughs> Disney claims to be so pro LGBTQ plus and so inclusive and we want to make sure everyone feels welcome but then they do this type of shit where they don't if it doesn't make them money or it doesn't make as much money they do whatever they have to do to make money and that's completely fine I don't have anything against that it's just you can't play both sides you cannot play I care so much about people and then play the other side where is the sequel to Princess and the Frog it's been what almost 15 years I don't know how well it did I know a lot of people like it I might be wrong about this but I believe the reason why 
why there's never been a sequel or a prequel is because it didn't do as well as Disney wanted it to. And Disney doesn't have a problem with milking or making sequels that you have Cars 1, 2, 3, Toy Story 1, 2, 3, Incredibles 1, 2, No Princess in the Frog 2 when you've made a shit ton of sequels. I'm just saying, just kind of sus. And then we get into this. And just to show you how much Disney cares, I'm just going to show you this example. This is the Star Wars Force Awakens poster. And this is the Chinese version of it. Now, uh, can you say anything wrong? I'll put the other one. OG, China. OG, China. They replaced Finn, I think that's his name. They put him to the back because China doesn't like black people being in the front of their covers. So Disney agreed to that and they just put him in the back. How can a company like this tell me they care about being so progressive and moving forward and all of this crazy shit when they do stuff like this and it's recent. And this is a comparison between the Black Panther posters and I believe the Chinese version of it. And we care so much about you guys. They don't. They don't. They're just here to make money. They're just here to see how they can make the most money out of the current trend. I'll say it one last time. I have no problem with this movie or the message i have a problem with the way disney acts here and it's like you know what we care so much and then you can go back and see all the other shitty stuff they've done it's ridiculous it's so fucking ridiculous they don't care if this is going to help people with body dysmorphia body positivity they're just like if this is going to make us money we'll fucking make it bitch um am i going to watch this movie it's only six minutes it's on disney plus i might watch it i might talk about it i'm fat phobic apparently if i don't agree with the message if i don't agree with this blindly i'm fat phobic but anyways guys what do you guys think of the situation take care subscribe if you're new like the video i would really appreciate it we're trying to end the year with uh 400 000. that would be really sick every day we get closer so i'm just saying you should subscribe or you're racist <laughs> anyways i'll catch you guys uh next video all right peace out